Hi, I'm Dr. Marisa Bel Castro from Lexington Clinic Veterans Park, and I'm here today to talk to you about physical activity. We all know that physical activity is important, but sometimes I don't think my patients realize just how important it is. It can lower your risk of getting colon cancer and breast cancer. It can decrease your chances of developing heart disease. It helps prevent against diabetes and high cholesterol. It helps prevent against falls and improves anxiety and depression. And it actually decreases your risk of dying early. When we think of physical activity in the medical profession, we think about it in two categories. The first category is exercise, which is the activity that we go out and do on purpose to improve our health. And then we think about the non-exercise activity, or we call this MEAT in the medical profession. It stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And it's all the other movement that we do in the day, such as climbing stairs, walking from the back of the lot, doing our laundry. And as you can imagine, this is a huge category and we have lots of opportunity in this category to improve our movement and improve our physical health. When we talk about uh, NEAT or the non-exercise activity thermogenesis, we usually break that down into steps per day. And so it's really easy to track your steps. You can get a simple pedometer or a watch or a smartphone. So you can start tracking your steps and knowing where you're at and what category of activity you're in. The 5,000 to zero steps per day is the sedentary range. The 5,000 to 7,500 steps per day is the light activity range. The 7,500 to the 10,000 steps per day is the moderately active range and 10,000 and up is active. And that's where you hear that goal of trying to get to 10,000 steps a day. We're all trying to be an active person for that day. New research is suggesting we don't have to get to that high level of activities to start to have the benefits for our health. And so just getting into the moderately active range, that 7,500 steps and up, can really have a big impact on our health. As an added bonus, when I'm making my 7,500 steps per day, I'm automatically meeting the exercise requirements put forth by the American Heart Association, which is that 150 minutes of exercise a week. Um, you're automatically getting that in. If you have like an office job like me and you don't have as much physical activity in your day, you have to go out and do something extra. And so you can kind of double dip in those categories. And then it's not that hard to add on the uh, twice a week full body resistance to kind of complete that exercise uh, activity requirements. I hope this video inspires you to get out and move.